also in jail tonight, former Broward County Sheriff's Deputy Scott Peterson. Earlier today, he went before a judge on a slew of charges stemming from the February 2018 mass shooting at Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland. CBS 4's Hank Tester is live outside the Broward County Jail tonight with more. Hank? Elliot, is a cop a caretaker? That's the question being asked tonight. Peterson's lawyer says absolutely no way, and the charges filed in this are not appropriate. Let's take a look. Scott Peterson fired and jailed, silent, hoping his lawyers can get his $102,000 bond reduced. And, Your Honor, I, I do have a written um, motion to reduce bond and to modify the conditions of pretrial release. Peterson facing 11 charges, including seven counts of child neglect, three counts of culpable negligence, and one count of perjury, a result of the massacre at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. Video shows Peterson taking a position behind a pillar, not moving, while 34 people are shot, 17 of them killed. Investigators and parents say if he had taken action, he could have saved lives on the third floor. He stood there for some 45, 48 minutes and did nothing. You know, as law enforcement officers, despite whatever policies and procedures uh, our agencies have, we swear an oath to protect uh, the public that we serve. Peterson's attorney was prepared to argue before a bond court judge that Peterson should not face the charges because he wasn't a caretaker. Uh, we would like to uh, challenge the probable cause determination okay. um, because we do not believe that my client, uh, that he meets the statutory definition of, of caregiver. The judge said no. Peterson's attorney released a statement earlier saying Mr. Peterson cannot reasonably be prosecuted because he was not a caregiver, which is defined as a parent, adult, household member, or other person responsible for a child's welfare. Indeed, the definition of other persons responsible for a child's welfare expressly excludes law enforcement officers acting in official capacity. The caregiver charge against Peterson does bother the head of the Broward Sheriff's Deputy Association and... He broke down, but also on that day, the command staff that was there that day, the captain, the major and everybody there, they failed in their command presence as well. The parents of murdered students say Peterson should be punished to the full extent of the law. Well, besides that $102,000 bail he's got to come up with, well, he also has to turn in his passport. That's a problem because it's in North Carolina. He's also in court tomorrow morning. I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News. Back to you.